Crack on as usual. We four topics to um, get our teeth into, and I think we've some some good material here tonight. So um, I'll get us going, uh, and I'll tell you what my topic is. I was on Twitter the other day. A lot of my topics kind of began with with a visit to Twitter, and I noticed them um, some some nonsense being retweeted about Curtis Jones being hated by his own fan base, and uh, I started to wonder had I missed a whole season of something because I honestly couldn't recall anything of the sort. You know, we, we've seen Nico Williams getting a lot of stick, but certainly not Curtis Jones. But you're going to be thinking about uh, the season ahead and how much of a big season this is for Curtis Jones because I thought last season, you know, was his, was his break-in season. You know, this was the, the season where he was, that was the season where he was going to really kind of get his opportunity. And he played a lot of minutes, don't get me wrong. But he was unlucky without the crowds and everything else, you know. And I think Jones, being a local lad, will really benefit from it after <coughs> being full again. And as well, when he travels off to um, when, they, when they're playing away in the Travelling Cup. And, you know, t- when he did come in, we, he was coming into a midfield that was a bit disjointed at times. And, you know, I'd like to see Jones coming into a, t- to a midfield that's really working well. So, you know, when Henderson's playing... Um, Thiago, uh, Fabinho, and then he comes in where he gets 20 minutes at the end and, you know, we're really playing well and give him, give him the chance, you know, and to buzz off the crowd as well. Look, there's going to be other uh, players like Virgil coming back into the team and Canate coming in, Thiago kicking on from his form last season. Yeah, but I'm really buzzing for Cortes this year. So I just want to get everyone's thoughts on who you think will make a big impact this year, whether they're obvious or not. Um, so, I'll throw that over to you, Pete. For me, I agree with you. I think Jones, to be he reminds me of a couple of functional midfielders that we've had in the past that they tend to go under the radar because they don't do anything spectacular. I think I've said this before a few months ago. He's tremendous amount of confidence. A player like that will kind of make, make a couple of mistakes along the way. But the, the absolute confidence he's got on the football itself is just be, belies his age. So I'd agree with you. I think sometimes you can fall into the trap, especially on social media, of not who you are, but being judged of who you aren't. So if you're if you're not, um, shall we say, Jack Grealish, or if you're not, you know, one of these uh, showpiece names, and you just happen to be a functional player, it takes a long time for people, uh, you, you know, to kind of warm people. For me, I'd agree with you. I think Jones very comfortable in that, certainly in the squad. Um, you know, he, he's he's he, he, I think he, he's well capable um, of being in and around it. To be honest with you, when, when he's when he's warm enough to come on, I never have any fears about what he's going to do. With regard to other players, I really hope that we hold on to um, to Harvey Elliott. I hope that he doesn't go on loan to Sheffield United as is being touted. I think he could just could be one of those kids. I think they used. To, I, I played for a couple of lads, and you know, one of them, Paul Martin, used to say to me that if you're good enough, you're old enough. And I'd look at Harvey Elliott, you know, and he's just he's just one of those, a bit like Jones, strong, good on the ball, good decision maker, and is capable of doing something, you know, a little bit unusual. If you're good enough, you're old enough. So for me, Jones has a part to play, definitely. Uh, and er- Elliott, to be honest with you, could be a breakthrough player. So I certainly hope that, uh, they, I think it's a little bit early. A few of the comments I talked about Cade Gordon, I think it's a little bit too early for him to be quite honest with you but he certainly has talent but at that age you know you're not he, he, i've seen him in the friendly doesn't put the value on possession that you you would want a player to take responsibility for it. whereas on the other hand harvey elliott understands the value of possession doesn't like to give mm. the ball away and is capable of doing it when it's when it needs to be done so those two i agree with you andy we need yeah. to hold on to and jones needs to feature needs to feature more this season yeah, yeah. Look, there's, there's going to be plenty of competition for a place in midfield, even with with uh, when Alan going and look if Kate stays fit this year, he's going to want minutes. Um, Ox there coming back from injury. Uh, you look at City last year, like it was a decent season for them, and and I think that's where we've seen Phil Foden shine, and you know, so maybe that could be the option. Yeah, the you know the opportunity for uh, Cordes this year. Liverpool are are operating a little bit a little bit better in midfield. That Cordes will benefit from that. What do you think, Gar? 
Yeah, I think he's a, you've touched, touched on a few things there. I suppose one thing with uh, with Curtis Jones is he's he's, a, he's got a good rugby football and arrogance about him. Um, and a lot of these young English players seem to have it now with what they've done uh, with George's Park. But I have to say, Jones for me is an absolutely outstanding talent. He came into a Liverpool side that was really, really struggling last year, I suppose, for form, as, as we all know. Uh, didn't get as much, I suppose, from February, February onwards. He, he came on, he got a, a decent assist in the game, I remember. Um, but listen, for any young player, it's all right being Phil Foden and coming into that City side that's, you know, that's spanking, that's, that's flying at the time. And, and that will only do wonders for a young player uh, with any sort of confidence about him. Imagine being a young player and trusting the Liverpool situation last year, coming off the back of win, winning the Premier League, and then obviously, you know, we're avalanche of injuries here, important injuries. And having to try and you know do it that way, that to me is a lot harder. So for me, that was a probably a huge character building exercise for him alone. Um, so I think this year we, we should see you know a, a different player through experience and the of last year. Yeah, uh, Thomas Raymond there, Davo. He says um, we need to see Harvey staying because uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of what he what he's. Hang what on. Ifs. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of what ifs in the midfield. No, I agree. Uh, I think. Uh, if Harvey Elliott stays, it'd be excellent. Like, I mean, it, maybe you could do it uh, alone in the Premier League, but we, we don't often see young players being mm. loaned out to the Premier League and then they come in, they come back to their clubs and they excel. Look, if you're go if he's going to be good enough, he's going to be good enough to, to start playing some minutes this year. Could you see Harvey being an important player for us this season, Devil? Um well, look, as regards, if he goes on loan, I think it should be to a Premier League club. I don't think he's 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 gone to Blackburn. He's he's doing really really well at Blackburn, and I, I think Tony Mowbray should be given a lot of credit because he he, he was taken out of the team at times. He, they, Blackburn really protected him, and after like, he wasn't just flogged in a league where you play basically two games a week all season, basically in the championship um, with the forty six game season. So, I, I, if he if he does if he does go on loan, I think it should be a Premier League move. Otherwise, he should be kept around. Like the way Jones was, I don't I don't think Jones went out on loan much at all because Klopp obviously believes that um, like you learn more training with them world class players um, week in and week out. And I could listen like. He's not going to play in midfield. His position is Mohamed Salah's position. And mm. Salah, thankfully, touch wood, is supremely fit, rarely misses games mm. and wants to play every week because he's hungry. And so, look, is Elliot going to... Elliot could be the perfect foil for him as regarding, listen, you might only you might only see him six, seven, eight, nine times um, and the cup games. So he could be the perfect foil. But um, I'm not sure. I think... If, if, if you had to put a gun to me head, I'd say he may go out on loan before mm -hmm. the end of the window. But the one, I just just wanted to say, the one person I'm actually looking forward to seeing a bit of and is actually Simicas at left full. I think um, Robbo's played an awful lot of football and I'm not trying Robbo over the side and saying start Simicas, not at all, but he's... he's um, he started pre-season very well by all accounts. Mm. Um, Shawnee Lawson told me, I've seen him getting an award. I didn't know whether it was Olympiacos player of the year, but seemingly it was Greek football of the year. I didn't know. I know Chris Brax in the chat. He might, he might know that for, for certain. So I've got a mate who's an Arsenal fan who said he was the best player in the two legs when they knocked Arsenal out of the Europa League uh, a couple of years ago. said he's really, really good. He was really good in them two games. So I'm actually very, very excited to, to, to see Simakas and to mm. see, because I think if he's fit, and obviously, you would ex you would expect him to be trying him well. I think if he's fit, I think you may see times where Robbo was rested and a yeah. bit of mix and matching going on just to um, just to keep keep things fresh and and because uh, it's a long season, there's a lot of games. Very hard yeah. for him as well, Davo last year as well, trying mm. to adapt, uh, yeah. trying to come into a side. We couldn't really rotate Robbo out of it at times because of the way, you know, the way the season went. So, but any games I've seen him pre-season, I know obviously there hasn't been loads of minutes, but yeah. especially in the last game, geez, he looks he looks fit and he de definitely yeah. definitely looks a bit more bulked up as well. Yeah, mm. I look. I think we all agree. Um, Robbo could deal with a little bit of a rest. You know, yeah. he's he's an animal, and uh, it's hard to keep up that level. You know. Not just the, the level of performance and, and how good he's been, but physically it's got to take its toll. And look, Simicas wasn't around much last season in terms of injury. Uh, it would be good to see 
see a bit more of him and uh, give Robert a break. But look, what we're talking about um, Elliot there, the comments are kind of dominated by things about him being raw and light and maybe not ready and he's only 18 and everything else. But look, players have come into the Premier League very light and raw in the past and say Sterling with us. And straight away, you were able to see that they were able to cut it in the Premier League. 